Space Resource Technologies is a UCF spin-off company formed at Exolith Lab, which is now the world's leading producer of high-fidelity regular stimulants. The demand for regular stimulants has grown over 4,000% in the last few years. With so many people now sending hardware to the moon and Mars and beyond, we need to have high-fidelity testing materials so we can prepare our hardware before it's launched. So Exolith Lab is a uh, lab here at UCF where essentially we manufacture and distribute um, testing materials to different researchers, students, private companies, NASA, ESA, anyone you can think of involved in the space industry. We make basically simulated regolith, which is a fancy term for uh, soil that's on planets or moons outside of Earth. What they can do with that then is they could practice moving a, a rover across the surface to planting plants and just finding ways that we can sustainably work with those materials. We need to have appropriate testing materials. As we all know, launching things into space is incredibly costly. What would be the point of spending billions of dollars on a launch if you can't make sure that it's going to perform well when it gets there. So what we really want to do is we want to make sure that we set up our technology for success as much as possible before it even gets on the spacecraft. With our regular spins that we've been working on and developing in partnership with NASA, we've been able to set up testing facilities that will make UCF a you know, key site to test your equipment in for probably decades to come. So with the regolith bin, this is the world's largest simulated lunar surface. It's filled with 120 tons of lunar highland simulant that specifically simulates the lunar south pole. This is the region where all the Artemis missions are going. It's about 10 by 10 meters large. So if you could imagine about 120 cars stacked in there, when we have rovers such as Viper, who's getting ready to go to the lunar south pole to look for water ice, they need facilities like this to be able to test their sensors, their technology, their electronics, and everything to be able to get ready to go to the moon. We do offer gravity offsetting. So what that means is if you want to mimic lunar gravity, we do have a crane that can help do that. So in theory, we'll also like to get some astronauts strapped in there and also practice what it's like walking on the lunar surface, as well as rovers. Having access to this high-quality simulant, it allows for research that is that can be found nowhere else, right? All the things that you can do with the, the space dust, um, we can do the research here in one place. So it's a truly cross-disciplinary, collaborative place. You know, by UCF, you know, by developing these facilities, like one of which is here at Exolith Lab, is really promoting our relationship with the, the space economy and there's a lot of potential to use the bin as an educational tool. Um, the range of disciplines that the bin enables education at is really huge. Surely it's a, it's a great attraction for students, you know. The basic idea is that we wanted to create a much better standardized simulant for the surfaces of extraterrestrial objects. UCF and the Exolith Lab and Space Resources Technology are the leading supplier of simulants in the world. And it's really participating in this venture that I think is important for Florida. Because too often Florida has sat back and thought, wow, it's really cool, we have Kennedy Space Center, we can sit around and watch rockets go up. But the most trivial thing about space is the launch. The real money is in the front end of it where you're conceiving, developing, building the hardware. And the back end of it where you're operating the hardware and getting the results. That's where the real excitement is. And just because you spend a few minutes watching expensive fireworks off the coast, that's not space. This is space. This is what real space is about. And the fact that the university administration had the vision to invest in some real space rather than simply being a passive viewer of other people's fireworks, that's the critical thing. And this is what will pay dividends in the future.